Hello. Yoga Voyage continues. We're still going. Uh, as you see, as you can see, we're in a new environment. Uh, this is the Lahu Hill Tribe village near Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand. This is where I'm just about to start practicing Thai massage uh, with uh, Sunshine Network. Uh, really uh, excited about this and <laughs> would love to talk about this but uh, yeah I guess that will have to wait a bit because uh, yeah it's been a while it's been a while I haven't been speaking I guess uh, last time it was in the beginning of the last week in the ashram still uh, yeah so a little bit about all of that and coming out of the ashram first so uh, yeah the last week I was having a lot of thoughts about uh, getting out was expecting it quite a lot uh, yeah my time was amazing in the ashram and really well now I'm feeling the benefits and yeah I can tell I'm only started with being back in the real world in a sense but uh, I can already tell like it's been fruitful for me and uh, yeah I had a good time there as well but uh, yeah I guess three months being there uh, in the same space with the same people doing the same kind of practices uh, I was happy to move on and uh, a sort of uh, desire to live my life had been bursting up, uh, which I was happy about. I was feeling really like ready to face the world again and live there, hopefully uh, better connected to my heart. Uh, so yeah, I had a lot of thoughts. Uh, the last week we were teaching a lot those of us who were going so the system there is pretty much that you focus on your practice and in the end and you learn about teaching and you do the practice but it's like more about having that deep experience for yourself from which you can share and the teaching comes in that foundation so yeah we were we were teaching and uh, I was I was happy about that. Uh, it was great to notice, like each time, it, it started feeling more like uh, more like my own. Started getting into it, and uh, yeah, since I had some some sort of fears about coming back and wondering whether I can teach or not, uh, uh, it was good also to have like good feedback and to feel good about teaching and uh, and yeah it's it's just something I need to sort of go for to sort of go for it and do it and keep doing it even if in the beginning it, it might be a bit like challenging or it, it, of course it will never be perfect so like to accept that okay I'll start here and it's also my journey and to be honest about it and to be honest about like when I don't know or yeah that okay I, I teach I teach from the point where I'm at and if it's helpful for you yeah, come try it try it yeah so yeah that kind of stuff uh, we had a nice farewell party with like a few of my friends who were also leaving and some of like the closer circle uh, who had been around like a longer time in the ashram because every month new people were coming so, uh, I feel that was like a really good end for my time in the ashram we were spending some time on the beach eating sticky rice and well <laughs> dining and going dancing ecstatic dance so all in all it's really nice we had some cacao in the last morning before going and yeah well, 
then uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty uh, strong experience to like to get out and uh, yeah just be there in in the middle of city life like going to the busier part of uh, Kopangan first and being there in the middle of people waiting for the ferries and like taking in all that stuff you know <laughs> the ambience of day-to-day -day life and everything that people carry within themselves and like to be there <laughs> among, among normal people <laughs> it was uh, it was good I, I felt ready for it I was waiting for it and, and uh, yeah I, I felt felt still at peace I, I felt like I carried with me the sort of new center I had built in the ashram and yeah the first uh, first day pretty much was like traveling waiting at the airport so I uh, first took a boat and a bus to Suratani uh, which is near the island of Kopanan and I flew over to Bangkok and was there in the airport a bit eating sticky rice of course mango sticky rice the best and uh, yeah continued over over to Chiang Mai and uh, yeah I got myself a hostel with like my own room and just spent spent uh, almost two weeks in Chiang Mai uh, at first just like living uh, living a city holiday of sorts, seeing some temples, eating out, getting massage, looking around, sort of taking in the city, having some space just to be and looking some videos online and uh, you know just just falling falling into the you know normal life you could say. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then I had some time massage for the later part of my stay in Chiang Mai. I started practicing time massage. I, I did a weekend of foot massage and a week of or four days of oil massage uh, just to get started. Now I'm here in the Lahu village and here we are gonna do 12 days living here doing massage with like a nice group we are having very diverse uh, and I've heard a lot of good things about this place and coming to here I instantly like feel good about it uh, so I think I'll have a great time and learn a lot uh, I really have a lot of desire to learn the Thai massage for me it's something sort of binding together my maybe you could say spiritual side and and my uh, you know uh, what would you say societal day-to-day <laughs> -day, uh, casual side <laughs> but like uh, allowing me to do the practice uh, time massage isn't just like uh, it isn't is it it isn't or at least originally it wasn't just a job that you do it was your path, it allowed you to do a sort of practice of awareness and of loving kindness. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll <laughs> learn more about it, but, uh, but I feel it that uh, it's something where I can work from a meditative place and like share something good for other people. And, uh, and it's something I've really been wanting uh, wanting to be working again not in the sense that I was before like uh, I have no desire to do something that I don't really believe in I'll do it if I need to but uh, but I have a lot of drive you could say to do something good around me like uh, for even you could say three years I've been focusing on healing and growing myself and I guess this is the steps I take to start sharing an important part of, 
I've taken my time, like, taking care of myself, but now I really feel like I want to do something good around me uh, and take care of myself also, like, uh, not burn all my savings <laughs> anymore, they're running out anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I've, I've recovered and I want to do some, some good here do some good with all I've learned and like uh, the way I've grown it never was like only about me but it was the place where I had to start like really really making some big changes in the way I see the world and the way I am in the sense but yeah a part of that is coming to a lot more acceptance so in a way, I'm more of that what I was, like, more of the same, like, coming more to myself. Yeah, I guess I could sort of <laughs> theorize and go around a lot about, like, what kind of change this time has brought me. Uh, I don't want to do that, and I don't want to get too attached to these, like, images and ideas about it. Uh, I want to bring it with my life, so... How I'll be living, that's how I am, and like, it, it, it will of course be a like, growing process, so, so that's, <laughs> that's what I look forward to, like, just living from the new center, I, I, I hope I can sort of keep connected to what I have learned in the ashram, and uh, I, I feel confident I can, of course, like I said, it will be like, always growing, always changing, that's life, but the not lose. Well, I try to put into words acceptance for the world and myself and love towards both. Uh, maybe that's like the biggest foundation, not taking life so seriously, having like firm kindness for myself and for people around me appreciating beauty, being sort of easily <laughs> enjoyable, you know, uh, I mean, uh, being able to enjoy life easily, like to be able to face uh, whatever life has to bring, um, and uh, yeah, to be able to face life and myself, to, to see it for what it is and accept it and be willing and play along like with all of my heart. Uh, to take care of my health and body, take care of my mind. Mm. Yeah, those are the type of things I want to stay connected to. It's not really this concept, but more like uh, an inner place of being or a state of mind, you could even say. Uh, not these words exactly, these are words I use to describe it, but uh, yeah, along those lines, uh, just to clarify for myself, I don't want to hold on to those things like for fully either. But yeah, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's been about my transition since I've been out for a while. I look forward to doing a little bit of like showing around this Lahu village, it's an amazing place. And also uh, I get started with the Thai massage, so I'll be sharing about that, and the group and well, everything. It's just, uh, yeah, just a quick sneak peek. I don't know if you see so well because it's sunny. So yeah, <laughs> my surroundings are pretty amazing. Uh, my room is humble and small, just has a bed. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you sooner. Just needed a long break at this point. Uh, there was a lot of change going on and stuff and I wanted to have the time for myself. So, so I'll keep you updated more often now. 
I wish you all well and looking forward to seeing everyone and be, have been having a lot of memories and thoughts and warm feelings about like a lot of people I know so I look forward to seeing you again. Stay well. Cheers.